My favorite thing in the show is actually the very, very opening line. Ladies and gentlemen, whether you like it or not, Hedwig. What's really touching about this show is that people still take great, great hope from it. Maybe even more now than when it came out because it seems like a darker world for some reason. This is akin to a, a, you know, a kind of religious experience because a lot of people know it and they're coming back to church. And other people are discovering it because of Neil or Broadway. You know, uh, we created something that has hopefully a lot of layers to it, you know, emotionally as well as thematically, musically. And now there's going to be even more because Neil is like an ambassador. I mean, he can work any crowd. I don't know any frontmen that can also like uh, do all his dance moves and magic and climb walls. He's, he's, yeah, he's a magician. He's less, kind of, lest, uh, lest you forget. So we are, we're Hedwig's backing band, so we go yeah. wherever she tells us to. We yeah. do whatever she tells us to. We're all scared of her. <laughs> She's scary. Yes, Miss Hedwig. Uh, the theater's this way. When we first started doing this, this show, it was a performance piece for John Cameron Mitchell and me and my band, Cheater. I played the band leader, uh, the music director, and I sang, and it was basically me, but with an outfit and makeup. And I've kind of always known that Neil Patrick Harris was the person to play this role if it wasn't going to be John. For me, it's, a no, it's kind of a no-brainer to, to put Neil in this. Getting Neil to do this, we've been talking almost for six or seven years. It seemed like the right role for him, and he seemed like the right actor for us. And it's really worth the wait.